Hello everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub and today we're going to talk about the Hepatic Portal Vein. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the Hepatic Portal Vein and to do so, we'll be using this image here, which is a ventral view of the portal hepatic vein with the central portion of the liver cut out so we can see the portal vein and other portal vessels. You can also see the aorta just here, as well as the inferior vena cava, just posterior to the portal hepatic vein. The portal vena system is an important system that has its own unique flow, and we'll talk about how this works in tandem with the vena system in the coming slides. First, let's have a little bit of a chat about the function of the hepatic portal vein. The portal vein is one of the most important vessels in the body. Its main functions are to direct blood to the liver from the gastrointestinal tract and receive nutrient-rich blood from the intestines. The portal hepatic vein also receives blood from the spleen, the pancreas, and the gallbladder, which it channels within the vessel to the liver. Once inside the liver, this blood can be filtered and processed while also being cleansed of bacteria and toxins in a process called detoxification. Before we move on to talk about the different components of the portal vein, however, I want to have a brief chat about the portal venous system overall. And as we mentioned, the portal venous system is a unique system that involves the movement of blood from the gastrointestinal tract to the liver. The process, which involves the liver as a processing station, looks a little bit like the cycle below. Veins carry nutrient-rich blood from the gastrointestinal tract, such as the superior mesenteric vein and the splenic vein, which then carry blood to the portal vein itself, and then through the portal triad, which is a triad of structures found in the porta hepatis. Once in the liver, the blood is filtered of bacteria and toxins, which are eliminated through bile or urine, where the filtered blood is sent back to the inferior vena cava. As we discuss the portal vein, we'll talk about the structures associated with the portal vein as we come to it in order of this particular flow. So firstly, the portal vein structure and location, including some associated structures, the formation of the portal vein, and the portal vein as it connects to the liver. But first, let's begin with the portal vein's structure and location. As you can see in this image, the hepatic portal vein, highlighted in green, can be found in the upper right quadrant of the abdomen. Although this is not visible in this image, the portal vein is valveless and generally reaches a length of 8 cm or 3 inches in adults. The portal vein ascends obliquely to the liver behind the duodenum. As it ascends, it runs within the right free border of the lesser omentum along with two other structures the hepatic artery proper, and the common bile duct to form a structure known as the portal triad, which we'll talk a little bit more about a bit later in the tutorial. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.